Welcome coaches, really excited to show you a couple of late game quick hitters that you can use if you really need a basket in a hurry in the full court off of a free throw. I want to start by explaining that certainly the setup of this could be done any other time. I mean, you could use it as a set if you wanted to set this up and it could be done in the half court or whatever. But uh, now that it's getting late in the season and I know there's going to be some really big plays late in the game when they're shooting a free throw and you need to get down and get a basket in a hurry, I'm going to show them to you in a full court situation here in five seconds against man or in five seconds against zone, a way that you can get an open shot very quickly, make the basket, get a timeout and get back into your foul situation, whatever else you need to do here at the end of the game. So this is against man-to-man. -man. We're going to start from a free throw alignment. Now, make or miss really doesn't matter here in the opponent free throw. Okay, We can assume make first, and if it goes in, my foreman is going to take the basketball out coming this way, so he has his right hand ready to make a strong pass to the one man right here. Now, on a miss, nothing changes. Okay, We have one big who's going to be the lead big, and we have one big who's going to be the trail big. Right now, because it went in, he becomes the trail big, and he becomes the lead big. No big deal, okay, doesn't really change things. If he were to get the rebound on a miss, then not a big deal. He'd become the trail, because he has the rebound, he has to outlet it, and he would become the lead big. Now, both of these sets would take some practice. In practice, you'd need to run these a few times to make sure that in, on a miss or on a make that they were able to get to the right spot still and get this basket done. Uh, but late in the season, now I think you've probably got some practice time to practice some late game situations. Certainly, I think you're going to be in a situation where you need a basket as quick as you can get it in the full court. Here's how it lines up, and um, I'm really, really excited to show this to you. So, let's assume make. Four takes it out coming this way. As soon as it goes in, two is gone, and three is gone. Two is the key player right here, and he knows that he has to get up into this area to set a back screen, but he is sprinting first down here before he curls to do that. A lot of sprinting is going to have to happen here. Certainly, your bigs are going to have to get down in a hurry to get this play set up and to get into this. All right, one man would come here, and we would enter to the one. Okay, now this is your lead big right now because he is your non-takeout big. Okay, again, there's a lead big and a trail big depending on make or miss. So because he is the lead big, he needs to get to this spot right here, and we can put the three-point line right there. This is the spot he has to get to to make the pass to lead to the layup. So he is on his horse. As soon as that goes in and our one man comes, this five man is on a dead sprint to get to that spot so he can catch the pass and throw the pass for the layup. Three is gone again, two is coming now and he is starting to curl. So one gets the basketball about here and starts to do this run. Five man, five man has hopefully gone in front of him. If not, we just know one man has to get to the middle. He knows this big, this five is coming to this spot. Okay, he knows that. It doesn't matter how he gets there, it matters how quickly he gets there, but he just needs to get there and he knows he's coming. This is our layup shooter now, our takeout guy. And he's got about a four second sprint to shoot this layup. And he is going to, after he inbounds to the one, he is going to sprint opposite and he is going right to the rim in this alignment here. One man then takes the ball down the middle. Okay, five man is coming and he is coming. Two man is gone and he is curling. Three is uninvolved in the action and goes to the opposite corner. Okay, very simple alignment right now. The key is the one is going to throw to the five. So five has got to get out ahead of him as quickly as he can on a dead sprint. As this is happening, the two man is sprinting and curling and he is back screening for this four who runs directly to the basket. Okay, and you, you have to tell this picker here that it depends on where the four man's defender is as to where the pick is set. If the four man's defender is picking him up, up out in here, fine, pick him up out in there. If he's hanging down here a little bit, then you need to pick there. You need to pick wherever that player is. So the action happens like this. Okay, we've got one second, we've got two seconds, we've got three seconds, throw to the five right here. Four is gone, coming off of the screen, and we throw it to him there on the run, and he shoots that layup. This action right here is the key action that puts a lot of pressure on the defense right here. Now, there are times, okay, when you do this, when certainly, okay, both guys will jump to that layup shooter. Okay, my thought on this is make this player your very best shooter. Okay, a guy that potentially could be hugged or would get some extra attention in most of the situations, or the guy that's made the most throughout the game so far. And when you run him here and he sets this back screen, his defender is thinking to himself, I, the coach has told me, no more threes for him, no more looks for him. He is probably not going to switch to that layup shooter. And here comes the big right there, and we look right there. Now, if they both jump, okay, they both go to the layup shooter, 
I think you will take a wide open three from your very best shooter as well. So in three to five seconds, I know now you look at it, there's a whole lot of writing up there. Very, very basic though, right? We throw to the one, the one is sprinting middle, five is trailing, this is the key spot. Five's gotta get to there, okay? And we throw it to him and then that back screen happens and we're looking layup. Um, three to five seconds, makes the layup, time out. Okay, or makes the layup and get up into your press. And you come up with a call for this and you practice this and you're ready for this. And then in this situation, all you've got to do is look at your guys and say, hey, we're going with whatever name you give it and watch this happen. This is against man to man and see if you can get a really quick layup and lead to um, you know, getting you back in the game a little bit and getting you a timeout late. Now again, zone, if you know that you're going to face zone, similar setup here, and we're going to go to a skip pass to an open shooter. Okay, we'll go with the same make here. Make or miss doesn't matter again though. Okay, and we throw to the one right here. Your first big down now. Okay, and the two is gone just like he is, and the three is gone just like he is. Now this is against zone, so I think you could name them similarly, but know that one is against man, man one is against zone. And the one man is going to come on the dribble here. The five-man spot now is right here. That's where he has to get to. Okay, your lead big has to get to this spot. Okay, and that's where he's sprinting to. Just like you talked in this play when you coach it, you have to get to this spot. And this one, the lead big has got to get to this spot here. We throw it ahead to the two. Hopefully your best player. We need him to really garner some attention here from this zone. You watch this zone and these guys start to look this direction down here as the ball comes on the dribble. They are very focused right now, right? This is late game, okay? They're all looking at the ball and really active. It's the best to run against a really, really active zone. They will be very active at this point late in the game on a really big trip. Okay, so our four man now after he inbounds to the one and the one is running, the four man's job is to sprint right middle and take up some bodies. Okay, get people to think. So we've got the ball here, we've got the one here. A lot of things happening down here in the zone looking down here. Well, here's the screen that's being set right here. Okay, this five man has come, our first big has come, and he has sprinted to this area here. The two man catches the basketball. We have a flare screen being set. Here is your shooter. Okay, and we skip it across right there. This screen can be set here sometimes, or here sometimes. Wherever the widest guy on this zone is, that's who you want to get. And it's really an odd thing for this defense to see late in the game. Here comes the best player on the dribble. There's guys running into the paint. And now we go over the top on a skip pass to a wide open three for your second best shooter, which I think you'll take late in the game like this in a late game situation. I hope this helps you uh, late in the year here as we get into district play in Michigan. I know we've got one more week of regular games and then districts. I know in some other states you're already into your state playoff games. I hope these two sets, as long as you practice them and put them in and drill your kids on these, get you a late basket and help you win a really big game. Thank you so much for watching.